Hey guys, it's Naima from Miss Seals Gifts on Etsy, and I wanted to come to you this week of November 20th, Thanksgiving weekend, and um, give you an update on my sales and show you a small, very small haul that I um, picked up uh, this week. And, you know, I'm learning as I go. So uh, this is a good, good, <laughs> this is a good video for all of you folks who are learning how to make money online because I'm always learning something new. And, you know, I've, I've been selling on Etsy since, um, I don't know, June. And um, I, I had this vision that, you know, it was just going to take off and I was going to be selling um hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise and that so hasn't happened part of it is i think some of the stuff that i bought was a bomb like early on it just was a bomb and others um you know it's learning your keywords and learning the pictures weren't the best in the beginning they're getting better so you know this is a hobby that i do to help support um, a passion project of mine which is animal rescue and um what I like to call human outreach. Um, so just to do some outreach, various outreach programs. So um, I did say in my last video um, that I was going to show you um, some of the stuff that we've picked up from some of the Etsy sales um, that we have. We're doing this thing called Bark the Halls and we're collecting um, dog food, cat food, pet supplies, um, for a nonprofit animal hospital where my puppy had her surgery and we couldn't afford the $700 for her surgery and so they did it at a discounted rate they did it for $200 because um, it was they're a nonprofit they're not for profit and so they depend on donations to continue to go so one of the things we're doing is raising money for them and also for um, an animal rescue and for the Humane Society so I've got two big boxes of food which I'm not going to pick up and that's going to the Humane Society and then we've got like you know dog toys um, dog bones and I mean just we've got a ton of stuff that has been donated but also has been purchased with a portion of our, our sales from Etsy. And so uh, my puppy was sick the same time I was sick, and which is how I got into um, selling on Etsy. I got hospital bills. <laughs> and um, it became a hobby because I was laid out on the couch and I started watching other people, you know, selling. And I thought, well, maybe I can do that since I can't travel right now because I travel full time as a singer. And I know some of you have saw my other two videos and you're probably like, wow, she totally cut her hair. And that's totally not true. I actually am wearing a wig because I am a fly girl. And I'm learning that blondes have more fun. And um, actually, when I got sick, my hair fell out. And so I have to wear a wig. But blondes have more fun. So it's growing back and that's all that matters right <laughs> okay so let me show you what I sold and one day I'm going to get off of this iPad and learn to do some real video and that's gonna be my goal over the holiday season learning how to put it all together but I sold this anagrams and letters on wood let me see if I can get close to you there it is anagrams and letters on wood and it's a vintage y'all go upside down it's a vintage children's game um letter tiles for crafts wood tiles and it is actually from the 30s or 40s i'm not exactly sure which edition that is somebody said it was the 30s but i think it's more like the 40s i got that in a lot of things for about four dollars and in the lot was um a snowman baking dish um some Halloween cookie cutters, uh, some vintage handkerchiefs, that, and a couple of other things. So in the grand scheme of things, I probably paid 50 to 75 cents for it when you part it all out. Um, so it wasn't super expensive, but I sold it. And I sold it for... Do, 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 do. $16.99 and here is my lesson on this I sold it for $16.99 and I sold it to Puerto Rico and I, I weighed it and it was a pound and four ounces and 
um, I thought I was gonna have to put it in like a big priority box the 1125 box or whatever it is and um, so <laughs> the buyer paid eleven dollars and twenty five cents for the shipping because it was going to Puerto Rico which is the fur furthest thing that I've ever sold the funny thing about it is it went to Florida that's how my father said because yeah um, he said it's Florida not Florida Puerto Rico and I live in Florida so that was kind of funny but so I go to the post office and I talk to Miss Fletcher God bless Miss Fletcher Miss Fletcher is my friend so I'm talking to her about how I need to mail this thing to Puerto Rico and I need to put it in an $11 mailer box and she's like uh-uh honey that'll fit in the six dollars and eighty cents mailer and I was like what six dollars and eighty cent mailer that little box this will never fit in there she said no honey it'll fit in this priority mail package right here 680 I said where that come from that's not out here she said no baby we don't that's how she spoke to me she said no baby we don't keep that out there she said we only get a shipment once a month of these and they go like hotcakes we keep them back here or you can go online and order them now I knew you could go online and order supplies but I didn't realize that they had stuff like this that didn't look like the stuff that's out there I thought you just ordered the stuff that was out there so needless to say that box fit in this package and I paid six dollars and eighty cents to mail it to Puerto Rico because the other thing I didn't know was Puerto Rico although it's not the continental United States it's the continental United States when it comes to the post office and you're mailing stuff and so now I'm going to have to refund the buyer four dollars and change um, if he asked for it and I said that when I sent the tracking information I said if you'd like a refund you know, when you get the package, if everything is as it should be and you are, you know, pleased with it, please let me know and I'll refund the $4. Because last time I was over, if it's over a dollar, I don't worry about it, you know. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I think $4 and, it's like $4.60 or something. I think it's a little much. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so I sold something else. I sold a vintage Christian paperweight. Um, I thought it was really cute and I was like, if this don't sell, I'm going to wrap it up and give it to somebody for Christmas because <laughs> I roll like that. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if I can, hey, let's see if I can show you guys. Okay, there it is. And it says his eye is on the sparrow and then it says, fear not, then you are more valuable than many sparrows. And that's from the book of Matthew 10, 31. And I picked that up in a thrift store for $1.99. And it actually, um, every almost everything I got from that particular thrift store, had, I've sold. Um, that was the one with, that also had the toothpaste dispenser. Um, and so I paid $1.99 for that and I sold it for $9.99. Um, I might have underpriced it a little bit. Maybe I probably should have went for twelve ninety nine. I'm still learning about pricing, so um, I couldn't find anything like it online. Um, so when in doubt, you know, I usually go with nine ninety nine. So I did sell that. So I had two sales this week, and I'm waiting to see what happens. I have a bunch of stuff to list. I'm gonna list like crazy tomorrow and um, Wednesday, and we'll see what happens for Black Friday and Cyber. Monday and small business Saturday and see if things pick up for the next two weeks. I'm I'm not sure. I've been talking to a number of people and so far um, a couple of people that I've talked to have told me that they their sales are really, really slow. So anyway, I went to Leesburg, Florida the on Thursday. On Thursday? What's today? Tuesday? It's all starting to run together. Thursday. I went to Leesburg, Florida on Thursday to speak for a women's event, to speak and sing at a women's event. Um, and on the way back, my husband was not with me. And so, of course, I stopped at like two thrift stores on the way back. Um, Leesburg is right outside of Orlando and we live in Jacksonville. So it was about a two hour ride. And if I would have found more, I would have stopped for more. But I found a couple of things. Um... Y'all know I love I love my my videos and one of my favorite videos uh, video people to watch is the pudgy picker. I love to watch her videos because I think she's funny and um, I like to get uh, information for my booth my my antique booth from her. And so I found these signs 
they say hot water 10 cents towel 5 cents soap 5 cents and then this one says fresh water 15 cent bath soap and towel extra I thought those were cute I don't think they're vintage I'm gonna sell these in my antique booth I paid a dollar for each of these and I am going to sell them I think I think for six ninety nine. Um, that's kind of what signs this size five ninety nine, six ninety nine, go for at our 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 um our antique booth. You see, like little signs like this. They usually go between um five ninety nine and ten ninety nine. And this is these are small, but they're real heavy. Um, they're metal. They're not wood. So I may. I may go with the $6.99. I may even try $7.99. And then if that doesn't work, um, well, I think I'll do $7.99 because I'm going to put them in the booth this week. And I'm having a Black Friday sale 20% off. So $7.99 for, for each, not together, each separately. And then I, this is a really small haul. Like I said, I only, have, I only got three things. But the other two things I got are real funny. So I picked up this Santa. And he was 50 cents and I didn't know anything about him. Um, there was another one, but he was kind of broken. And then there was another one like him and he was all dirty and nasty. And I went out to the car and I looked up because on the bottom it said June McKenna 1988. And I said, well, it's definitely vintage. And then I was like, but I don't know who June McKenna is. So I ran out to the car because I had on these boots, these cute boots. Because like I said, I had been speaking and put my, um, my plaid tennis shoes on to go back in so I could really dig. And while I was in the car changing, I, I looked it looked up June McKenna and apparently she's quite collectible, um, depending upon the type of June McKenna you have. And these little Santas are going anywhere from um I looked on Etsy, there's some for twelve dollars, the flat backs. These are the flat backs. Um but I also saw them on eBay going, you know, for twenty-eight, forty-eight dollars. Um but I'm going to do a little bit more research on him. I didn't see a lot like this one. I saw a lot, but not one like this. And so I may, um, this is 1988, and it is number 858 out of 10,000 June McKenna collectible. So I think I'm going to price this on Etsy. I'm going to try to get this up tomorrow, um, depending upon the weather co cooperates, because I take my pictures outside, because like I said, I live in Florida. I think I'm going to put him up for $14.99. I paid 50 cents for him. And then the last thing that I got, like I said, I only got three things. Um, those two things. And then the other uh, two thrift stores, the other thrift store I visited, I didn't buy anything. Um, I paid a dollar for this cute little, um, I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was a pill box. And so... I thought it was cute and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll just put that in my booth because I didn't think it was vintage. But I thought, you know, oh, it's a cute little pillbox. I'll put it in my booth for $9.99 and, you know, I paid a dollar for it. Um, it does have a little chip, which I'm just now noticing. I did not see that. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can get a little black marker and black it in and then mark it a little bit cheaper. I don't know. Is that ethical? Can I Can I do that? Somebody let me know. I don't know. Maybe I'll go ask in the International League of Thrifters. I don't know. But anyway, it turned out to be a candle holder and there obviously was a candle on here. And so I turned it over and I didn't see, I just picked it up because I thought it was cute and I thought it would go good in my booth. Um, it's a Kathy Slowiski. Kathy Slowiski. And apparently it's some kind of collectible pottery. So... My eye, my eye is getting good, y'all. So anyway, um, I haven't been able to find anything like it, but her pottery is selling between um, like $18 and 50, 60 bucks. And I can't find this exact pattern. I may take a picture of it and put it up on um, Facebook in our group and ask um, if anybody knows it, cause I can't find anything about her either. Every time I put in her name, all the pottery comes up, but I can't find any information about who she is or, you know, if this is vintage or, you know, when, when she was a potter making pottery, if she's making pottery now and it's not vintage at all, cause maybe it's from last year. I have no clue. So I'm going to do a little bit more research, but I guess I'm thinking, um, if it's vintage, I'll put it on Etsy at, um, about $12.99. And if it's not vintage, I'll put it in my booth probably at, um, $10.99, $9.99. 9 
And so that's it. That's my my haul and like I said I had um two orders this week one for $9.99 and one for $16.99 and I'm rolling in the dough y'all I'm rolling in the dough <laughs> so I am not going to be out thrifting this weekend I don't think because I hate the Black Friday crowds so I'm going to do a whole bunch of listing and then I will be back next week with an update. Oh, oh, let me tell you about my, I had a sale at my booth. Um, I actually had two sales, um, I think. One, I'm not sure about because it wasn't there, but when I went to the front, um, she didn't have a card for it, but I didn't realize it was gone until after, you know, I left. So I have to see about it. So I'll talk about that later on. But you know that, um, that tin, that candy, that chocolate tin that Harry of London's chocolate tin that um I showed you all in my last video and I said um that you know it was selling online between nine and, and twelve dollars well I, I sold it I put seven dollars on it because I wanted to move it I wanted to see if it would move and I I just didn't think anybody was going to pay nine ten dollars for a tin but apparently that was a boo-boo I should have priced it high and then if it didn't sell marked it down but I wanted to get it out because it was a Christmas item but I did sell that tin um I sold that tin for seven dollars and so that was very nice so I've been averaging about one sale a week for the I've only been in the booth for um this coming up will be my third week and so I've sold something every week so far but I have not made my money back yet my rent. My rent is $40. So um, I'm going to go by there and maybe I'll take some video and talk a little bit about what I have there. And that might be a little bit different for those of you who do a booth um, or want to do a booth. And um, that's it. I don't really have any funny stories except I went to this one thrift store and it was real nasty and stinky and I didn't want to touch anything. And I was mad afterwards because I didn't have any hand sanitizer and I was like, blah. Mm -hmm. That's about it. So yeah okay well this is Naima and I am with Miss Seals Gifts on Etsy and thanks for watching um post office the lessons learned this week post office post office post office check out what they have because you know what what you see is not all I got and y'all probably knew that but I didn't so I'm gonna go online and look for real and order some stuff and that's the first thing the second thing is trust your eye you know the more videos you watch and you see what other people are collecting and picking up the more you learn about what to look for and what to collect so trust your eye because I picked those two up just because I thought they might be good um, and also they were you know a dollar and fifty cents you can't really beat that so all right well God bless you all happy Thanksgiving and um, it's all good. See you next week.